Gotcha. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Salvai from the Salvaje Cartel. We're back at it again, guys. We have another Boruto episode review. This is my first ever Boruto episode review on 1080p. But so y'all better be watching this on 1080p, all right? This is also the first Boruto review I do on Sony Vegas. So, yeah, awesome, man. So, anyways, guys, uh, we're back with another Boruto episode review, episode 39. Right, if you're new here, I'm gonna talk about what I liked and disliked about the episode, all of that good stuff. So, you know, funny story actually, I actually thought that this episode was going to be like, you know, its own arc. You know, we were gonna get a Mitsuki arc right now in the Boruto series, and you know, something was going to happen between Orochimaru and Mitsuki, but this was actually a flashback episode. And I am so glad that it was a flashback episode. I mean, I thought that this quote unquote arc, by the way, was going to last like maybe three to four episodes, maybe even five episodes, but it only lasted one episode, which, on which honestly it's amazing, okay? Because that basically means that now, next week, we can actually jump into uh, the plot of, uh, what's this thing called, of uh, Boruto. Oh, and now I, I actually just realized that I didn't watch the episode 40 uh, preview, so I will be right back. I'm gonna go watch it right now. Okay, so yeah, I saw the uh, episode 40 uh, preview, and uh, yes, it seems that Team 7 is going to be going on uh, their own mission. So yeah, that's uh, pretty, pretty cool. Their first mission, I'm pretty sure it's going to be... Getting a cat or something. Uh, <laughs> I remember when the Naruto series first started out and Naruto wanted to do like an S rank mission and I just saw that on the episode 40 uh, preview, Boruto also wants to do like the highest mission. <laughs> Boruto, you have no idea what you're talking about. You foolish little boy. But anyways, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to be looking forward to episode... That ass, though. Um, I'm definitely gonna be looking forward to uh, episode 40 and uh, I can't wait to see what missions and basically where the plot of Boruto is going to be going uh, over these next couple of weeks and months honestly uh, we we know for sure you know the Momoshiki stuff might take some time and uh, the, the moon guy uh, Hagoromo's brother I believe uh, that arc is going to take some time as well maybe but I don't know, because as you guys know, I don't like to read the manga. I just I just watch the anime. And also I'm not like crazy I'm not that crazy deep into the damn Naruto lore. And yo guys, as I was playing this game, my team took so long to freaking push into this point, bro. I was I was kinda tilted. Anyways, uh, another thing that I liked about this episode is the freaking action. And yo, we got to see Orochimaru in action. I mean maybe it was just uh, scripted action, obviously. We got to find out uh, that later on in the episode. But, Orochimaru is such a badass, guys. And honestly, I feel like sometimes we forget that he's part of the legendary Sanin just for the simple reason that, you know, like he was kind of like a bad guy and he wasn't really always portrayed as that much of a badass. But yeah, man, Orochimaru is it's pretty freaking amazing. I mean, spoiler alert for Naruto. When, it, when Sasuke brought him back to life, I was like, what the fuck? I, I, I cannot believe that. This guy just doesn't die. What the hell? Yeah, I was actually really, really surprised. Um, but yeah, uh, another thing that I liked about this episode as well, other than, of course, Orochimaru's badassery, is um, that we basically got to find out more about Mitsuki's past. And when Orochimaru said that, you know, the guy stole his memory or some shit like that or... You know, something weird like that. I was like, nah, this has to be one of Orochimaru's schemes to trick uh, Mitsuki or something like that, right? And of course, later on in the episode, we basically find out that adult Mitsuki... So there's another version of Mitsuki, that's crazy. So adult Mitsuki and Orochimaru basically planned this so that Mitsuki is like, what? Like one of the best persons that he can be? Uh, I, I really like that about the episode, you know? It's pretty cool, but... It kind of just confuses things a little bit more. Like, it's too much for my brain to handle. I'm not that smart. One of you guys that are crazy deep into Naruto lore and stuff, please educate me in the comment section below. I would appreciate that. I mean, I get the whole thing that Orochimaru is trying to do. Like, he wants Mitsuki to have free will and stuff like that. But he kind of deceived Mitsuki. So, that kind of means that Mitsuki has some fake free will. Kind of, in a way, because he was kind of manipulated to, you know, strive after Boruto and all that stuff. Like, that's what this episode was about, guys. This episode was to show us that Mitsuki 
you know, he thinks that he wants to go after Boruto, but Orochimaru basically just planted that idea on him. Or, of course, Mitsuki's son. Maybe Orochimaru doesn't know what was inside that scroll in the first place. Okay, now let's talk about the other badassery that Mitsuki did throughout this episode. Holy shit, guys. Mitsuki stage mode. We finally got to see it. Um, I saw some fake art of Mitsuki stage mode, um, you know, just all over the internet. And um, I actually didn't really believe it, but wow, I, I, I believe it now. You know, I saw it with my damn eyes. I'm, I'm really, really glad that uh, Mitsuki has stage mode. I cannot wait to see what he does with it. Obviously, uh, you know, even though Sasuke was, uh, you know, trained on the Rotimaru and all that stuff, Sasuke never actually activated uh, Snake stage mode, at least, you know, not from my understanding. Uh, so it's really, really cool to see that we're getting a character that is, of course, uh, a master in stage mode or that will become a master in stage mode because of course now we know yes like i know uh, mitsuki used stage mode against uh shino sensei right I, I i was aware of that but we didn't actually see it okay now we actually got confirmation that holy shit mitsuki has stage mode okay but anyways um yeah i uh i i'm definitely curious on uh to, to see where the series is going to go with uh the mitsuki stage mode thing uh, going on honestly is he going to take a lot of seasons to like fully master it because as we saw uh, Sage mode is something that takes a pretty decent amount of time to master it. I mean Naruto at first Couldn't even uh, hold stage mode like uh, for a long time or something like that or No, it wasn't that my bad. Uh, so yeah, Naruto basically couldn't really uh, get into Sage mode super quick, so he basically had another clone. Yeah, that's what Naruto uh, did. Uh, by the way, I always thought that was really, really smart of him. Anyways, that's pretty much it, guys, for this Boruto episode review. Let me know what you liked about the episode, because, as always, I don't try to talk about every single thing that's on the episode, because uh, I don't want to make videos longer than I need. Thank you very much for your time, friends. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Now, we got the Overwatch event going on and stuff, but, guys, in the future, like... I'm gonna have end cards on the videos and stuff like that. Like, this is just a, a sneak peek. Anyways, peace out and see you on the next one.